So far we've more or less been manipulating numbers. Let's go ahead and take a look at some string manipulation. We'll just look at the basics here and of course I encourage you as always to extend this and go as far as you can. Uh, the documents have plenty of stuff on this but we'll take a look at some good basics here. Probably the most common thing people do with strings is concatenate them and we've done that already but let's do it again. So we'll say first name equals let's go Susan this time and we'll say last name equals how about Brown Susan Brown and there we go so now we've got a first name and a last name and we want to display those concatenated together actually let me go ahead and comment our examples here so we'll say concatenation and then let's go ahead and set up a dialog message box to test that out And of course, the concatenation operator is the double dots, right? So we're going to go ahead and say first name. And of course, we want to put a space in between those names. So we're putting a string, which is an empty space, two quotation marks with empty space in there. And then last name. I've got to make sure that this is a lowercase l here because it's case sensitive. And that's our concatenation example. So we've concatenated strings together. That's one way of manipulating strings, and it's a very common way. Um, another way of uh, manipulating strings is, of course, to compare them. So, for example, if we say if first name equals, and remember we use the double equal sign, Susan, then we'll put in a dialog message here. Actually, sorry, let me comment this off first here. So we'll say compare strings. There we go. And we'll put in a dialog message box here. that says result names match and we'll actually while we're at it just to extend our script just for fun we'll say else and we'll put that in there and we'll say else names don't match okay and that's a kind of an interesting little thing and we'll put in an end declaration so we finish that as you can see we've compared strings here we'll say if first name equals Susan then give us this dialogue message else give us this other one alright and another thing we can do with strings for example is count how many uh, characters are in a string so let's go ahead and try one of those out so we'll say count characters and then our string we'll use will be the first name again and what we're going to do is assign a, this to a variable. So we'll say result equals, and then we're going to use the action string length, and then we're just going to have our string name inside brackets there. Okay, so result equals string length first name. And of course, you can get that from the add action wizard if you like. We'll take a quick look there. You'll see there's a string family of actions here, and you can go through, take a look at all these actions. As you can see, there's just tons of stuff, uh, great ways to manipulate your strings. Um, and you can go ahead and enter them from there. But we're, we're just typing them in longhand here because um, it makes it a little more clear. So anyway, there's our count characters uh, demonstration. Let's go ahead and put that into a dialog. And actually, I better start titling these so that we know which test is which test. Okay, so we'll say count characters equals result and I'm gonna go back up here and say compare result be a little more verbose and we'll say concatenate result there we go much better alright now let's go ahead and look at a one more how about string replace this is a pretty valuable one a lot of times you're gonna to want to replace part of a string with another string so let's go ahead and set up a new string here and we'll just call it string. We'll say string equals uh, what a great day. I'll make that lowercase. There we go. Put an exclamation point and then we will go ahead and use a string replace action to change that value before we display it in a dialog message. So we'll say now string equals and I'm going to use the autocomplete here 
And actually here, I'm going to select this from the menu just to show you how that works. You see how it gives uh, the menu of possible string uh, functions here. I'm going to choose string replace by simply clicking on it there. So I get the string replace and in this particular case it requires three arguments. The first is going to be the string to look in and in this case that's going to be our string that we've called string. And the second argument here is going to be what you would like to replace. So let's replace great with fantastic. And that's the third argument is the string you would like to use to replace. So we've got a string replace action. It's putting that into the string variable. So it's modifying it. And now we can go ahead and display that value in a dialog message box. And we will say, I'm going to comment this again. Uh, replace string. There we go. And we'll say replace string. And we'll go ahead and just put this in here. So we've got the string value. And there we go. So these are some examples. We'll go ahead and run this now and we'll just run through this real quickly before we run it. We've got the concatenation example where we've used the concatenation operators here and here to attach those strings together. And then here we've got a compare string where we've used uh, this if first name equals Susan then to actually compare. So we've used this operator here to compare uh, the first name string with this string that we've specified here. And then we've got the count characters example where we've used the string length action to count the characters in the string name my uh, first name. And then we've got a replace string action here where we've actually used the string replace action to modify an existing variable named string and to replace this word with this word. Okay? So let's go ahead and build this and take a look at how it works. And again, I'd just like to mention that these are just some basic string manipulations. There's a lot more available to you than just what you see here. So this is just to get you started and uh, it's worth going through and experimenting with the other stuff. Okay, so as you can see it concatenated our names together okay and put the space in there. Let's press OK. Here it's compared our strings and it tells us that the names match, which indeed we know that they did. Here it's counted the characters in the word Susan and it's telling us that the number of characters is five, which is correct. And it tells us what a fantastic day. Let's go back and review what we did here. Um, the reason it told us what a fantastic day and not what a great day is, of course, because we used the replace string action down there. Uh, the count characters, of course, came out to five, which is exactly right for the first name, which is Susan. The, the compare strings here, of course, we didn't see the results of our else statement because our if statement was true if first name equals Susan and of course again here we've used this operator to do a comparison string comparison and concatenation of course again just the double dot operator so this is some pretty basic string manipulation to get you started and I encourage you to go through and take a look at all the string actions and experiment if you have any questions meet us in the forum and we'll be happy to answer